Hey everybody, it's me again. Um, we're gonna go through some fun stuff today. So for today, I'm actually gonna take you through kind of start to finish um, a really quick LT map. We're gonna pretty much bust it out as quickly as we, we possibly can. Um, so we're gonna probably take like an hour, an hour and a half, and hopefully we can come up with um, something that's uh, playable for like when testing starts happening and things like that. So uh, these will be good for uh, quick maps and kind of turn around and seeing what works and what doesn't work. So let us get started. And hopefully levels are all good and you guys can actually hear me. <laughs> uh, so don't mind me, by the way, I'm a little bit sick. So if you can't understand me, please let me know. Um, I'm kind of congested, so it's not coming out as clearly as usual. <clears throat> All right, so where I begin in the process is I actually start in World Machine, right? Hooray, nodes. So this is literally just for a base. I could go through and make each individual hill. However, there's really no point, especially for a quick LT map. All right, I should have prefaced that. We're going to do like an LT map. They're generally smaller um, and focuses on core gameplay. So. I have a couple notes here that you probably recognize if anybody's used World Machine. Um, you have uh, some advanced Perlins, so I use two usually. Um, one to give me kind of like this bumpy, you know, starter stuff, and then one for some generic um, lines within the actual um, map itself, right? <clears throat> then I combine those using a combiner node, um, and you can use any method of combining you'd like uh, depending on what you're looking for so then I tend to blur that uh, which causes it to be less um, bridgy um, and just a pain in the butt to ski um, and then I put it through these series of notes and what this does is I'm literally this actually does the mirroring for me um, so I don't have to do it manually uh, this is good for if I would just want to do something quick so if you look at this you can see how it's been mirrored, right? Sometimes I'll actually go through and manually um, mirror even after the fact of doing this. Um, I do that because we're sometimes if I have to make changes to to something or I will make a lot of changes and so what I'll do is take those changes and just mirror it myself uh, manually so then I don't have to actually do the same thing plus I'll never be able to get it perfect anyways nobody can eyeball a perfect mirror so um, this is a good starting point so let us just kind of randomly select some settings I, I don't know let's do like negative 500 that, that looks good to me and then this one will be uh, we'll go 600 why not okay so we're gonna kind of see what this looks like um, right off the bat and see if we could do anything fun and exciting with it 
Um, it can and it can't be. In this instance, uh, there, if I were to export this, depending on the resolution, you'd end up with like a realistic terrain, and you literally there'd be bumps everywhere. Um, it's not. It wouldn't be like tribes when one bumps. This would be like realism bumps, and um, it's just too much, right? Does that make sense? <clears throat> All right, so let's just go ahead and oh, actually I'll change the All right, we'll start with this. <clears throat> so there's some appropriate um, exporting sizes uh, when you're in Unreal. Uh, if your terrains aren't these sizes, you end up with like this extra like line going around your actual terrain. Um, so you can't use standard like you know 1024 or 512. You'd actually be using like 1009, right? Um, this is Unreal Scale. So I already have that set. So let us go ahead and just like set this to my desktop. Cool with that. Actually, let's make a new file. Oh, we got a follow. <laughs> Jitterbug. Thanks for the follow. Alright, we're gonna go to the folder. <clears throat> Map. Alright. We'll name this LT Zoom Zoom. Because everybody loves LT. Alright, let's go ahead and export this it's gonna need to build the terrain doesn't take two seconds and boom thanks for the follow Sycon did I say that right 56 <clears throat> oh hey everybody welcome to the stream all right so now we have done that so let us go into our actual map so this is a new level I named it LT zoom zoom and uh, we don't need this block thing there so once we're in unreal uh, we're gonna go to landscape There's a little button here and let's import file and let us go to desktop and we're gonna call it map I have a lot of stuff on my stuff there we go there we go LT zoom zoom and let's go ahead and import so as you can see It's looking pretty hilly. So if we were to play this, let's just take a look at it. Right now, you're seeing some weird things because I have um, some normal maps running through it. Um, but you know, actually, this isn't too bad. There's no environment effects here, so like distance and scale are kind of kind of difficult plus the normal map shine right now is making it a little difficult to to see so uh, maybe I should apply a different uh, texture size here um, actually let us right now I'll just some layer info wait blended fine Woo. all right we just need to see something I actually may change this to grass because white is just a pain in the butt to see. Yeah, hey, let's do that. Grass, where are you, grass? Uh, grass, 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 grass. There it is. Rails. And up, up. Actually. You know, 
may make sense to do this. Oop. Computer's freezing here. <laughs> Bit of zombies, yes. LT Zoom Zoom. Um, Wildfire, it's not the official name of the map. Just we're making an LT map, so... So it's fun and fun. By the way, uh, my wit and brains have gone with the sickness too, so bear with me. Jokes will be a little more horrible than usual. <laughs> All right, deciding to compile some random shaders because I touched a file. Yeah, you know. changing gears we're not gonna do grass we're gonna do sand um, it's a little easier to see for everybody landscape materials there it is okay now let's get to our light source. Our light is very, very in a random spot. Okay. There, we finally see some stuff. All right, so let's look at this map. So at this point, we have a tab down this this center here which is a little different but it could lead to some interesting f fun gameplay and it actually maximizes uh, the size of the maps so we can see that these this hill and this hill are the same so we're looking at a size about here -ish. all right so let's take a look at what we got going on all right so we have a nice hill over here Oop, a little bumpy there. We can kind of fix some of that. Bumpy is okay, but you can't have too many bumps. Otherwise, you can't ski. Um, it just just doesn't work. So at this point, I'm going to think about where I could place some things. Um, hmm. Everything's looking the same. You know what we need to do? We need to at least put some effects in here because it's killing me. Killing the immersion! Uh, boom. It's fog. Everybody loves fog. Yeah, Derek, totally understand. But if you have too many, um, all you're going to be doing the whole time is just bumping and not gaining any speeds. <clears throat> All right, next one. Hey, that doesn't match. Let's do. I don't know. There we go. It's an okay color. And sky sphere. And let's see. Change some of these things. <clears throat> eh, screw it. We'll stay with that. <clears throat> we don't need to go too much into the art right now. We're just trying to make this playable. Yes, yeah, way too bumpy. All right. So what we could do? There, there, there's a couple things. If I like the heights, which I kind of do. And then I'll manually manipulate the train. If 
I think it's too much, then I will actually keep it closer to the ground. And the way to do that is you can just edit that in the actual editor. We'll go to the terrain. Scales a little off, so we're going to do that. There we go. All right, let's see how that feels. sucking. Alright. Yeah, that's right. Just just the skills, you know, I can plow head first into a hill and not take any damage. Thanks, Fixius. You know me so well. is I can't let us gain too much speed so if I actually kept this bumpiness this actually might work out well the thing we want to avoid is uh, super routes right so we can't have people going 300 million miles an hour which looks like I can obtain those speeds on this map so I need to shrink it this is an LT map let's go down to 125 All right, start this so. <clears> hell. <throat> Honestly, at this point, this is the uh, the stage where we actually take the most time, um, because getting the hills right obviously is the most important part. Uh, and then I'll edit it to actually work well, and I'll provide paths and things like that. But I can't have it be broken because if you have a broken map, then it defeats the purpose. Alright, so we have a bunch of small hills, which works fine. And it takes you like the whole map to get good speeds, so I don't think anybody here on an LT map would be using the whole map to try to gain a bunch of speed just because you lose. Yeah. Ooh, boy. We're getting closer. So you know what I may do? I may do this, and then I may drop that to 75. Let's try that. And that actually might do it. This is actually feeling better. Yep, I like this. All right, so now we need to plot out our bases. So I've done a lot of bases that are elevated at this point. Um, so much you've seen, so much you haven't seen. I think I may inset one on this one. So let's find our spots where we're going to put our bases. So, if I had a base here, alright, let's start designating areas right now. Because the whole point is we are being fast. Fast and efficient. Oh. Delateo? Did I say that right? Thanks for the follow, sir. Sorry if I butchered your names. Alright. 
Boom, boom. All right, so say we had a base here. Ooh and eyeing at this beautiful base. Okay. Hmm. So now, if we were to go to the other area, oh my god. Yeah, the size is about right. That's about a Stonehenge. Okay. There's a couple things. Come on, let's just duplicate it. This box, bring it over. Beautiful. So now here goes the age old thing. If we have a base here and we have a base over there and we can see it, obviously we can put more fog. That's definitely a thing, which we can probably start doing now. <clears throat> Way too much, but let's. Uh... No, we like it all the way up. Start distance 1500. About 15,000. No. <laughs> 10,000. Oops. Yeah, uh, thanks, Meth. Very scientific. All right, Wildfire's suggestion was put it up on the hill here, on this hill. I will wait until lag and all that stuff catches up. <laughs> oh, auto saving. Oh. <laughs> Did you guys actually like uh, Stygian or however you say it? Be honest. Just curious. Side of the map would be too far. I don't think I could put. I don't think I could put it over here. One on the hill, the internals that go on the ground. Yes, I'm a big fan, um, Thor of of uh, doing that. Um, can't overdo it, but uh, yes, I I think there's some fun stuff. The only thing about doing that is you need to be careful about not making it so you break the gameplay, right? can't give turtles the chance to turtle all right chat is going too quick I can't even keep up all right so here we go well, at least we could see it over there um, now we need to look at how we're actually gonna approach things see like this hill here is kind of unusable maybe for entrance it could be I mean, the side is fine, but this is maybe a little, a little too much. And we need to stop that. So we are going to do the age-old shove something in the middle trick. Let, let's pull... Let's make like a... Uh, This will look like crap, so bear with me. We'll make like a... We'll probably change this. Actually, for sure we'll change this. <laughs> oh god, yeah, no, we're not doing that. Okay. There. We'll just leave it at that for now. All right, we're just giving points of reference so we can actually see what we're doing. All right. All right. 
So we need some carving stuff over here. There's enough. So exit routes. Alright. <sighs> My goodness. There's some good bumps. Um, but maybe a tad too many. And then front route. Let's try that real quick. Yeah, there's no that up. This is very, very, very small hills. Okay. All right. Now let's start developing some of these areas. So, much as I like this, I need to fix it. Start doing stuff. Actually, before I do the finite stuff, I need to make sure that I like what's happening. I think this area is a little flat, so this section here, I'm going to take this whole area down a notch. We need a little bit more variation. Uh, sculpt tools. Oh, yes. Again, our goal is to have blocked out base by the time we're done, right? Remember, I only want to do edits on one side, so I'm going to stay to this invisible line with the towers. Okay. Now I need to start thinking of a couple things. One is initial route starting, which right now is going to be a pain in the butt. I'm not sure if I like the base up this high, so I actually may take it down a notch. So if I take it down here, let's try it. Let's see what happens. Thanks for the follow, Cobreets. So I did that. Oh. I think we just need to fix this. some of these things. Thanks for the follow, Guy Haggis. Yeah. We're 
go. Turns out. Yeah, that feels better. Okay. Down a smidge. Okay. Smidge there. And a smidge there. There. Go back smooth a little bit. <coughs> Can't believe if God Haggis wasn't already a follower. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> okay, here we go. Back in it. So I don't want to take away a lot of the, uh, the bumps, just a couple. So at least there's some place to go. start doing things that will actually limit some stupid crap that happens um, so I'm going to block off this area here with terrain we're not gonna want people Want it, they're gonna have to go over. This because right now I have something that's starting to come to mind, so I'm just gonna run with it. I'm starting to see like pathways and things and how skiing is gonna work and where I can route people to where it's not like extremely OP but gives them some fun options. <clears throat> Sorry, I need to drink a little bit. <coughs> uh, gotta love being sick. Okay. <clears throat> Smooth. Like on, I'm glad to see that your wallet is ready. Make a check payable to Stealth RG. No, just kidding. <clears throat> Told you, bad jokes. Sick. Alright, so if they're coming this way. We don't have anything to carve. Not a one thing. Not good. I'll raise this up too. Raise this, raise this up. I'm only going to develop one side. I'm pretty much going to ignore across these little tower lines.
So, want some smoothness, but keep some of the OG. <clears throat> yeah, MF, the smoothing tool is nice. Uh, you get a lot of options. Um, like this filter kernel, I'll just hover over it so you can kind of see. Uh, the higher values smooth out bigger details, lower values only uh, smooth out smaller details, so I can actually uh, utilize it in the fashion I want, uh, which is nice if, if I've done some things. Because some maps I've done with um, higher terrain resolution, uh, which gives me a little bit more detail, and sometimes I like to keep some of that stuff in there. <clears throat> okay, so now if we were to hit this, we'd probably hit it like this, little bumps if we were good, we'd hit it like that. I don't know if that's enough to carve us over though. So you know, it's, uh, it's different working. Like normally I have this thing full screened and then I have these tools on my other monitors. <clears throat> we'll get used to. Um, Pit of Zombies, you, you actually mean full fleshed out art and all or do you mean um, blocked in maps? <clears throat> Locked in maps, I've done like a million. Again, um, by the end of the stream, I sh this map should be pretty much blocked in and ready to ready to, to test. Um, final, I wouldn't say any map is ever final. As you guys know, there's always things that get broken, things that are discovered as you play it longer. And I mean, just look at all games. <clears throat> It's like uh, the longer people play a game, the better they get, and they learn how to exploit certain things. So it's always a fun, fun thing. the old-fashioned way because we can. So to export, it's pretty simple. Um, we go to our landscape. Oh, select our landscape. Go to our landscape here, and I'm pointing with my finger like you guys are gonna see. With my mouse, <laughs> height map. You right click, and you can export to file. Um, 
We already have it in map. Let's just call it our <clears throat> LT Zoom Zoom uh, Awesome Naming Convention One. All right, let's go to Photoshop. Uh, file and we go to map and we go to LT Zoom Zoom. It opens up right away. There's no none of this like craziness that happens. Uh -oh. So as you can see, I can already see where I've done some of my edits. Uh, this side is obviously darker, um, which is where I actually, um, <clears throat> if I could talk, um, edited the terrain. So I already know that psh, down this line is where I need to go. This is not an exact science, nor does it need to be. Um, you, you're literally just uh, you know having it right and I have the wrong one but that's fine you can always um, push. all right we're gonna control V that and then we are going to edit transform and we are going to if I can flip and then come on flip. all right so now we just need to nudge it where it needs, needs to go. So one thing with this is um, <clears throat> there it is. All right. Wow. Um, cool thing is uh, if we export this um, from Unreal and we export it as a raw straight from here, we can actually just bring it back in right away without having to do any funny mumbo jumbo. Um, it's kind of nice, makes things a little easier. And I can do it as a raw file and it'll actually keep its um, awesomeness. <clears throat> so let us save as. Save as a somewhere. Rar. Perfect. And we'll call this LT Zoom Zoom 1 mirrored. Just, oh yeah, make sure to select IBM PC. Click OK. Now let's go back into Unreal. <clears throat> and we will just go to Manage, New Landscape, select our new Rar file, Zoom Zoom mirrored. Bring it in. Oop, forget. Put in that instead of snow. And. Alright. And then. Let's just. Hit import. Go banana. Alright. So now we should have two landscapes in here. We have this one and this one. So let's check this. We see we have a scale of 100 to 100 by 75. This one's 100 100. So let's change the z axis to 75. <clears throat> and then look at that. It's already there. Awesome. So if we were to look, we'd see the changes, right? Yep. And then right over here, you can see the main change. And it kept everything. So, we did it. Congratulations, guys. We freaking did it. All right. Now we're going to not do that. Do that. There we go. We're in. Hooray. Let's play. Boom, boom. Okay. Let's see how it skis now. Oh, handsome. 
pretty quick speeds there, but there's really nowhere to go, so that's actually a good thing. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. Oh my goodness. Wow, I'm butchering it. Where is that side thing? Oh my god, it's all the way over there. Thanks for the follow, Jump Salty. <clears throat> Alright, cool. So as you guys can already see, for the cappers out there anyways, um, let's get out this chain gun, wherever it is. If you were to take this and then you route it around here, you can kind of hopefully go behind this hill here. Oh my god, I can't even do it. Yes, I'm amazing. Okay. Eh. This, this way. Now, that may be too powerful. Who knows? I could probably block it with some stuff. But, uh... Options are always good. Yeah, because that'd be a side to, side to front, which might be too much. So I may have to put something... <gasps> Ooh, got an idea. Aha! <clears throat> oh my god. <clears throat> what if we did like a uh... This would be too big. <laughs> Thanks for the follow, Space Pants. Awesome name, by the way. I approve. All right. Actually, it's just some some visually interesting things. Um, and we can actually have this be a doorway bridge to our. Let's make a, um, I can talk, I swear. Let's make a cave right in there, just because everybody wants a Stygian cave. Thanks for the follow, Pixel. Uh, this Did we lose bugs? Bugs. Um. All right, there's with Mabel. Oh, let's see. I wish they had a segment just on the physics. With Mabel or whomever. You know what? We have we have talked about it. Um. I guess that. That all depends on a couple factors, so maybe you'll see it, maybe you won't. Um, hopefully, we can make it work. Uh, as you know, physics stuff is a lot of tweaking. Um, Playtesting and tweaking, playtesting and tweaking, so. Alright, if you are curious about some of the this stuff, I can hit play and I can show you. Here's a chain gun. Let's go. See that? One, two, three, four, five, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Boom. Yep. Definitely dare we will, uh, do more of that stuff. Um, once you get too technical, though, um, it it does lose some of its luster on some people. So, um, but we, like I said, it's definitely been talked about. So, uh, we'll we'll let everybody know. <clears throat> Ouch.
Imogor, I don't know how to respond. That that hurt my heart. Void <clears throat> span spawn is very sensitive, remember. Okay. Losing track. I'm sick. You guys can't do this to me. Okay. Moving forward. Um. This will block. Yep, that would block it. I'd be a pain in the butt. I'd be pissed. <laughs> Alright. Um, so that, that actually also gives some cool stuff like, um. Oh look, there's a bridge. Screw you, killed capper. I'm gonna go inside here. Uh, did I set up a landscape thing with this? Here, I should probably show this so you guys can see. All right, going to the instance, going into this, and I did not. Hmm. All right, we'll do it later. Not important to our map, and we're already an hour in. <clears throat> okay. Alright, that's good. Because nobody will do this. While they can get there, it'd be obliterated. That might be a little too much, though. Okay. Alright, so now front routes. Uh, we don't really have much right now. This is my only potential. Let us turn it into... Oop, what did I just do? Uh, oh. Move. Tweak it. At least something. Okay. The main one that I'm gonna drive him to is gonna be this one here. I'm gonna extend this hill over. Actually, give it kind of a bridge wider. Then well, up this is just a smidge, and then we will bring that down a smidge. doing power leveling I needed to feel superhero like <clears throat> all right back to what I was doing sculpt it hmm. now I'm gonna move 
this down. One thing, I actually may dip into this hill here because I'm not liking how it is unusable. So, increase this area. Again, I'm going to have to do a lot of... There we go. Now, let's fix what I just messed up. <laughs> Alright. <coughs> Team Batman for you, Seymour, really? Come on. Like, do we need to go into superhero battles right now? <laughs> Superman does have kind of an unfair advantage. Be honest. Okay. Let's see how this is playing. <sighs> oh, oh, oh. Get back up there. <laughs> Seymour's picking a fight. Hey. Okay, perfect. Now we have somewhat of a decent entry point into the other side. Um, at this point, I'm going to need to do another mirror because um, I need to see um, this point connect with this point. Um, so let's do that. Here we go. Actually, before I do any of that, I'm going to close out these things here. Mm, no. Okay, right, we're gonna save. Saving is good. Uh, check out selection. Okay. <sighs> Looks too llama friendly. Um, do you mean just because? flag stand isn't developed or there's too many access points to the to the flag obviously we have a lot of picking still to do um, this is the part that takes the longest because I'm just developing front routes to make sure there's enough front routes I need to make sure that there's some side access points um, and uh, of course this is not going to be the base a block is a block I'm probably gonna make a flag stand with a base maybe surround maybe maybe back here or something um, so it'll actually make sense a little bit more as we do it uh, new follower colon cleanse huh thanks for the follow sir oh yeah meaning base to base yeah um, with LT maps like if you look at like Stonehenge, right? I mean, you could literally front, front to back, like almost instantly. Um, it doesn't mean it's necessarily the, the best way to go, um, but it is something that happens. Um, and I don't know if you played Stonehenge, but Stonehenge is a pretty good LT map. <clears throat> <clears throat> Alright. Who's in focus? The sickness is taking its toll. Okay. I was gonna try to get this done in an hour. <laughs> May not make make my uh, my goal. <clears throat> okay. Go. Alright. Boom. Okay, and then I will do Okay, I need to do the Thing now, all right let's save and then let's export out the train uh, Terrain landscape height map export file 
All right, here we go again. Let's make this number two. I end up with a lot of these random height maps. I'll just have to go back and delete them. Fun, fun stuff. Luckily for me, uh oh. I know. Um, no. Oops. No. Did I just like butcher that corner? Probably did. My goodness. Cut off. There we go. Control V. Edit. All right. Maybe, I think you guys get the idea. Bam, transfer. Um, Nudge this where it belongs. And. Beautiful. Alright, I'm gonna do some manually. Manual tweaking. Um, Zoom zoom two. Okay, landscape two has now been created. Give it its size, it's a five Z axis. And there you have it. We have our stuff. Okay, delete old landscape. And make sure it's the correct one. It is. Seeing cross eyed right now. Yes. Did it mirror? Yes, it did. Oh my god. Okay. Whew. Oop. I did not mirror that very well. Oh well. <laughs> Superman wears panties. Really? <laughs> I mean, come on. Come on. <laughs> it's too much. <clears throat> ah, okay. Focus. Here we go. <clears throat> I am having a hard time focusing. Sickness is rattling the brain. Yeah, uh huh. She more gore, I wonder. I wonder. <laughs> uh, okay. Alright, 
So I was looking at this hill, seeing how it entered to the base here, which honestly is a reflection of this side. So I'm actually going to raise the hills slightly. And you know what I may have to do? I think the bases are slightly too far away. I think they actually need to be here. So if, if I put it back here, which is fine. And then I add a base here. Well, let's just do this for now, just so I feel better about it. This accent point here is what's concerning me. I'm actually gonna raise this area here, which means I'm gonna have to redo some of the front stuff that I did earlier, which is okay. <clears throat> there we go. Just to give you guys a little advanced note noting, oh my gosh, oh, notice. Um, I will be wrapping up at about 2.30 today. You guys probably don't want to see me struggling mentally. Um, <clears throat> we should be a good ways along. Um, I'll probably end up moving uh, to base blockouts here in probably five minutes. Uh, just to block something out real quick, because I told you I wanted to have, like, a map done. Like, done, done. Oh, it's important to me to keep my promises. Um. Totally neglect this side, so I'm gonna step up the game here. Go in, and we're gonna go quick. I'm gonna make decisions on the fly instead of thinking too hard about it. Like speed. <laughs> this music is putting me in the zone. Be careful of that. better. Oh. Alright, only problem here. Oh my 
que es eso. <coughs> Note to self, don't stream when you're sick. Okay. Here we go. Alright, we need a we need better starting points from the flag stand, otherwise light D will rage and then you say the mapper just should go hang himself or something. I don't know. Here we go. This area is starting to look a little nice and fun. I didn't think about backgrounds though, since this is a front heavy map. I was coming at it. For the sake of time, since we're running out, I really wanted to get this finished, but uh, looks like I'm not gonna have enough time. Okay, we're gonna flesh out the base design. So, Bag, there has not been a new teaser video. <laughs> All right. I kind of like this tiered platform thing. I'm actually okay with it. Um, I did what I didn't want to do is make the map up high, but I think it actually might work well. So probably going to let it stay um, so if I did that then I need to figure out how we're gonna do some more interesting things this is an LT map so I can't go too crazy um, I mean honestly what I have here is kind of probably where it's gonna be so let's see the um, sizes because we can't have things that are too massive right uh, this is too big so Shave down. Yeah. All right, now let's start doing stuff for the defenders. There's a little ridge line. And maybe make it a little taller. Alright. That'd be too much. There we go. Little ledge. And then I'm all about stuff. Stuff is good. Uh, 
Let me make some stepped stuff so defenders can like chill out. Oh, and then let's add like uh, something over here. The beauty about this is I get to be as sloppy as I want. Or it's gonna be like a, maybe like an antenna thing or something over here. So who doesn't like antennas? If I was light day, I could be chilling here. Body block. You're not getting my flag. Yeah. All right. Just a little ledge here. Um, but they're not gonna do much other than the capper can't mess up and you know hit this thing. It's gotta hit this. So. Big stare. Glad you're liking the. Uh, the direction of the stuff. <clears throat> yeah, that's good. Okay. So let's develop this real quick. I'm going to ADD like all of this. Um, when I see something, I'm just going to kind of do it. Because uh, we're running out of time. No. Sloppy. I know there's dimensions that I'm supposed to adhere to, but we're just gonna make it work. For that. Um, I think it's attractive. Good. Did I do this with a cube or a BSP? Did I do it with a cube? Oh, what am I thinking? Looks like I won't do interior spaces. We don't need them anyways. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Alright, over here. Bad luck. Throw on a flag or two for the audience. Throw on a flag. Um. Did I... for now. See it for scaling. Yeah. Not the actual um, flag asset, but 
but it gives you a, a thing. So, again, LT. Things are smaller, they're not massive. Things are closer together, scaling will look better, etc, etc, etc. So, the scale feels nice, looks nice. Actually see. ADD base plotting. important probably not but it makes me happy that's all that matters thanks for the follow nerdiful <laughs> nerdiful good name thing over there yeah so we're, we're starting to get some visual interest and some good shots now for the flag stand mm. the question is to leave it open or do I close it off in certain ways one thing I could do is back routes are going to be a pain in the butt because we don't want anybody coming from back here and I could probably fix that by like curving some of the terrain around and making it rather difficult or just stupid to actually do it but um let's go over here yeah it it's really awesome to uh, hear you guys talk about the music um, Owen's just the man when it comes to this type of stuff this stuff really gets gets me me going it's got the epic portion of the program down to the T <clears throat> so one thing I could do which I don't know if I'm gonna like it. Maybe we can try it. But like a frickin' back beam. <laughs> then you're limited to like some side to fronts though. Well, that would be a side. That wouldn't be like side to front. That's, that's a side. This one. This one. This one could be turned to a side to front. But I can't please everybody. Alright, let's try this. Um, Havix, um, if you're curious, I don't know if you watched um, some of our past broadcasts, but we did have Owen on with um, Benji um, talking about music. Uh, you can watch Ian, Owen, and Benji talking about music um, and sound design. You know what, Mef? I'll I'll try that right now. I know everybody'll hate me, but I did enjoy uh, 
Stonehenge. I mean, stone. Oh, uh, snow blind. <laughs> I mean, you get rocked pretty hard if you get hit. So we're, so we're getting some cool, cool stuff going on. I feel this side of the map is feeling kind of lonely, but what do you do? What do you do? Thanks for the words, Delateo. I understand. Do the best you can. So we have this <laughs> stupid little tower thing. This thing here. That's awesome. Um. <coughs> okay. Alright, I got four minutes. What do I do in four minutes? Did you guys want me to just ski? Bet you want me to ski. What everybody wants me to do. Thanks for the follow, Mick Flugelton. I think I said that right. Yeah, this takes it to the back area. Hmm, this back area needs some developing, but that actually worked out kind of nicely. I do like the visual interest of that little area. Kind of nice. Of course, this side doesn't have the base structures. I'll have to mirror those in a moment. I'll do that offline. You guys don't need to see that. Ooh. Ooh. Can't, can't gain some speeds. We just jump. Bam. Ooh. Crap. 172. All in. Well, that took me really far off course. I, I would it would probably be safe to say that, that that'd be out of bounds because um, LT maps have very uh, close quarter um, maps bringing in bringing in the oob would be beneficial all right if we hit that you'd have to hit a different hill for sure that one might do it. There we go. Go on top of this bad boy. Mm. Oof. Come on. I had to blow all my jets on uh, turning to the left. Alright. Let's try to do... A little bit of this. Oh yeah, that, that one's a nice one. Slows you down to 80 though. My goodness. Oof. Okay. Let's take a gander. At left to right. <laughs> oh, Dale, thanks, sir. Um, definitely feel old, but for whatever reason, RG has always been in my name, and so I kept it. So glad you remember. Good to be remembered. I was a young lad. Now I'm old, but you know. Hmm. 
So if somebody decided to like say I'm gonna break the game, I'm gonna do this. Well, first of all, you'd like eat eat crap on that hill there. Yeah, it would be like totally annihilated. Okay, let's attack it from another section. Yeah, I know, I know. Because I didn't do it properly. I was doing it quick. Oh, actually, that's not the line. That's, um, this is from, um, uh, not building lighting. This is, a. Uh... Yeah, I do like the bridge. The bridge is a nice, nice little visual cue. Oh, you're coming up on this side of the map. My flag. And off I go. Oh, that one's kind of OP. That's like a kill yourself and throw the flag type of move. Oh yeah, that thing. This could be like my little hidden fortress. Wait for people. Snipe them. No sniper right now. <laughs> Alright, guys. Well, I think I'm going to wrap it up. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to pop onto our forums. Uh, you can get there. Uh, Playmidair.com. Definitely check us out on social media and the other places like Reddit and things like that. Uh, we'll, we'll be there, and if you have any questions, post them up, and we'll take a look. Um, you know, it was really fun hanging out with you guys. Sorry I was sick. I hope you can understand me. Um, and I'm glad you guys like the direction we're going. Um, I think we did some pretty decent work today. Um, I'll finish this up, and it can be another one of the random maps that I've made that can be tested and see, see how it works. Um, but it's been enjoyable. So, uh, talk to you guys later. Mm -hmm.